Okay, now we're going to do the environmental splice, which is Practical Lab 1B. We discussed the environmental splice because it, well, it's used in the swamp areas. The swamp areas are any moisture, low-lying areas on the aircraft. The environmental splice, when I splice the um, inside piece, I'm going to splice it and then lay over my heat shrink. The heat shrink has a little gels on the end. When I shrink it, it's going to environmentally close off that splice. So again, I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to use these pair of uh, diagonal cutters. These cutters do not smash the wire like semi-flush or uh, uh, flush cut pliers. These things are designed not to flare out the ends of the wire. Like that. So I'm going to take 18 gauge. I'm going to strip it. Now with these, I'm going to strip it. But when I strip it, i got to strip it a little bit longer. Then the last ones. When I strip these, I need the wire to go in, into the wire, and hit the stop, and give me about a fingernail's width, a fingernail width of, of uh, wire, bare wire sticking out of the end. That's what I need. I need to know that the wire is all the way in, in the window, hitting the stop, but also I need to see that it's sticking out the end so I'm not hitting the insulation. And that is lucky. I got it right there. So we are good. So now that I'm, I'm set up here, I'm ready to go. I need to take my splice and set it up in my environmental splice crimpers. These are DMC crimpers called GMT 232s. Since this is a blue splice, it's a blue uh, 16 to 20 gauge splice. I'm going to put it in a 16 to 20 gauge slot. When I put it in the slot, my window must be facing up. I'm right-handed, so I simply put these in my right hand. I close them, partially close them, so I can ease these in. Oh, too far. Partially close them. I can put it in with the window being straight up. It's straight up, and now I can hold it down gently. Take my wire that I already checked the depth. I simply ease my wire in. My window, again, is going straight up to the ceiling, and I squeeze down until the ratchet releases it, and now I have a crimp. The crimp, the teeth, are in, directly in line with the window. That's a must. You cannot have the teeth sideways to the window. The window and tooth must be perfectly in line. That's the, that was the hard part. Now, we're going to strip the other end, and if I do, I'm going I'm to... Uh, go ahead and make this hard on myself. I'm going to put this in to show you that if this is a wire on an aircraft, what you don't want to forget is the heat shrink. You must not forget the heat shrink. So I'm going to splice these two together, and if I would have forgot the heat shrink, I would have to cut it and do it all over again. But now I have my heat shrink slit on the wire. I'm going to strip it, 18 gauge again. i got to hit it just right. Popping it. Twisting it. All right. And then make sure my heat shrink's on. Now I'm going to check my depth. It's butted up against it, but there's a little bit more than a fingernail length. Don't like it. I'm going to just trim it with my, my diagonal cutters. Check the depth, and there we go. Just a little gap there, just barely a gap. That's going to work for me. So now I want to set this up, take my crimpers, I'm going to lay them in. You can do this one of two ways. I like to lay the wire in from the back side. That way I can butt the splice up against the keeper, and it'll hold it for me nice and tight. There we go. It's held in there. She's locked. Now I just got to tell, ooh, the window, the window moved. So I'm going to rotate it so the window, my splice is straight up and down. I don't like to do that on you. There we go. Oh, she's fighting me. All right. I'm going to hold it nice and tight. There we go. Come across the top. Throw it in. It's at the stop. 
and squeeze. There we go. The key things you want to look at here, that the window is straight up. I can see the window straight up. My teeth are in line with the window. I did not bend the splice because you don't want to bend it. It's easy to do. And the wire is sticking into the window, so I'm good. Now I'm going to simply slide my heat shrink over the top and center it. Now that the heat shrink is over and centered, I can simply heat it up. So let's do that. With your heat gun, this heat gun's used in the back shop. It's got a heating element. I could not use it on the airplane, uh, directly on the airplane, because it's got a heating element. So you can light off uh, fuel, oil, hydraulic fluid. So in this case, I can use this in the back shops. I'm gonna turn this thing on to hot. It gets hot pretty quick. I got uh, my deflector on here. I'm simply gonna start heating it up. It's going to want to slide around on you, so you really got to work at keeping it into play here. Once it starts shrinking, you'll be all right. It's going to get a little toasty. I'm going to move it around a bit. I don't burn my fingers. Keep going until I see the gel come off the ends. Let's start oozing out the ends a little bit. Still a little bubbly. And there we go. Now when you turn off the heat gun, you actually got to go to cold. If you don't go to cold, the heating element will burn itself up. You don't simply switch it off. So you go from hot to cold, and while it's doing that, you inspect your environmental splice. It began to ooze out the ends, it melted, it sealed off on each end. I can see my wire still protruding in the window, and that's a good, that's a good environmental splice. That's a keeper. That's it.